Welcome back, horror family. The new series Creep Show on Shudder is a perfect follow up to the original film by horror masters Stephen King and George Romero. It brings back our shrouded narrator, The Creep, along with the EC comic field that seamlessly connected each story in the 1982 film, creating a cohesive sense that we are watching a nostalgic horror comic play out on screen. In the past, I did a concept video for bringing back a Creepshow reboot slash sequel, utilizing some underappreciated King stories from the past, as well as incorporating the 1950s horror comic theme to recreate the magic that King and Romero brought to us. It seems that the minds at Shudder not only knew their source material well, but also understood what the fans wanted and were expecting. The first entry in the series premiere was actually the opening tale I desired in my concept video, Grey Matter, by Stephen King from his Night Shift collection. This adaptation is very faithful to the short story, not only incorporating an excellent blend of practical effects with CGI, but also casting horror royalty such as Tobin Bell and Billy herself from the original Creepshow movie, Adrian Barbeau. Oh, just call me Billy, everyone does. In this story, we witness the dark descent of a widower from the eyes of his son. At first, the boy thinks his father is just slipping gradually into self-medicated alcoholism. But one day, after drinking a bad can of his favorite beer, Harrow Supreme, he soon transforms into something far worse. Initially, it is the complete avoidance of light and the black growths on his face, then the increasing heat in the apartment. Pretty soon his father is eating cats and loses his limbs, turning into a slimy shell of a man with an insatiable hunger for more than just warm beer. But what happened to Richie? What could have been in the hapless beer can on that October day? I think that he transformed into some type of fungi. The characteristics of heat and distaste for light makes me conclude he has become a fungus-like monster. Maybe there was a mutant form of yeast in one of Richie's beer cans. Yeast is a microscopic fungus. It consists of most of cells that reproduce by budding or fission. There are many forms of yeast to result in disease such as candidiasis, which is a drug resistant invasive fungus that can create serious internal damage entering the bloodstream, rooting infection. Bangor, Maine is home to Harrow's Brewing Company, as well as an infectious disease center. A batch of experimental mutated yeast could have cross-contaminated at the brewing company, originating from the nearby center, and Richie was the one who received an exposed case. Or possibly he was stricken by another type of fungus, either genetically altered or aggressively evolved. Dermatophytes are fungi that grow on the skin, hair, and nails, causing superficial infections. There are also fungi that are parasitic and attack organisms by evading them, obtaining nourishment, and with cases like the cordyceps, will turn their host into mindless zombies to help increase spore disbursement. Perhaps Richie was introduced to a previously unknown hybrid strain of a parasitic dermatophyte that took over his body and mind, giving reason as to why Richie told Timmy that his transformation felt good and didn't hurt. His invader was blocking pain receptors, gradually overcoming his central nervous system. Or, conceivably, Richie's transformation wasn't terrestrial at all in nature. We saw Dixie wiping a green mold off the box of Harrow's that she was about to sell to Timmy. This green substance resembled another moldy matter we saw from the original Creep Show, an aggressive vegetative invader originating from the meteorite that fell into the front yard of one Jordy Verrill. The thing that took over Richie could be a related species to that which took over Jordy, an alien colony of predatory fauna seeking to expand their domain over organic life on this planet, either through the growth of a rapidly spreading turf like the one that enveloped Jordy in his land, or a slimy dark fungal parasite that can increase numbers by fragmenting its body while at the same time absorbing any flesh that stands in its way. If it was a mutant strain or an alien species, Richie was no longer human, and the reproductive splitting to billions within months as Dixie predicted would without question be the end of the world. The most important thing to remember is that Richie did promise Timmy he would quit drinking. What do you think happened to Richie? Any other stories of Kings you would like to see this season of Creepshow? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below and please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Stay scared.